you don't make weight, you're not fucking fighting. They're plain and simple. And and he has a history of, you know, not making weight and not taking anything from David Benavides, but he's clearly struggled with this. They don't fight weak. We got to drain ourselves to make weight. And then we got fight night, a biggest fight of, you know, your career probably as David Benavides. And you got to go out there and perform. I'm just like, oh, bro, like that's just too, we're asking for too much. There's a video that just came out of David Benavides yesterday, I think, training. Um, and this is one thing that I do want to say, and I want you guys to keep this in mind when till the fight happens. So, you know, that fight was announced, you know, I mean, not the fight, but the video was released yesterday of, of him just shadow boxing in the ring, whatever. I'm sure he hasn't been training like that since his last fight, but it looks like he's back in the gym now. Or whatever, I don't know, right? I don't know what the situation is. But the point is that he looked huge. And not that he's, like, fat, but he just looked big. You know, and he's clearly put on weight, whether it's a little bit of fat, a little bit of muscle, or his natural weight. I don't know. But I'm like, bro, like, you're fucking huge. Like, huge. And you want to fight Canelo at 168. And this is the thing, guys. I was just telling my girlfriend this. Like, if they fight at 168, and and this is, that's what uh, Benavides, you know, walks around with, whatever he, he walks around right, walks around at, and, and his history with making weight. Um, it's just like, you know, you have the pressure of fighting arguably the best boxer of all time and the pressure of currently fighting the best boxer at the moment. You know, you got to handle those situate that that pressure. And then on top of that, you got to handle the pressure of making weight, you know, and, and you're still going through your training camp and whatever. So you you, you make weight. And then on top of that, the weight cut, like how, or the whole process of losing weight. So, you know, if you're starting to lose weight now or whenever that happens, you know, and even on the day before the, the uh, fight week, when you have to make weight for that fight, it's just like imagine and think about how much of the mental game is going to affect Caleb, I mean, Caleb Plant, David Benavidez, you know, fighting Canelo. And I'm like, bro, that it's just just those two things are massive deal like if it's a big deal and, and it's drainful and it's draining i don't know what it does i've never felt that shit before but fighters constantly talk about how it sucks so i'm like bro you got to make weight you got the pressure of canelo and then you still got to go out there and perform against canelo and it's just like that's you're asking for too much for from David Benavides. And as casuals and as haters, as his fans that don't like Canelo, we're asking way too much from David Benavides. Way too much. You, we need him to be able to perform against Canelo and possibly be him beat Canelo. But in order for that to happen, you know, gotta go through the training camp, gotta lose weight. That's one of the probably one of the main focus points on his whole training camp is making weight it's not even the boxing or the footwork or, or any of that it's making weight that's fucking priority because if you don't make weight you're not fucking fighting they're plain and simple so and and he has a history of you know not making weight and not taking anything from david benavides but he's clearly struggled with this so you know you got to focus on making weight they don't fight weak we got to drain ourselves basically to make weight all right, and then we got fight night, the biggest fight of, you know, your career probably as David Benavides, you know, and, and you got to go out there and perform. I'm just like, oh, bro, like that's just too, we're asking for too much. So that's my opinion on that and on that video that was released. So, and again, just keep that in mind because, you know, when he does lose, when that fight does happen, this is why, you know, and, and again, David Benavides is a beast. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. He's really good.